Well, I'm on the last dog, and it's a golden retriever of my needle felting for that commission. This is Mookie. So I'm using that for his expression, and then this for the body shape. But I'm gonna have him standing up and looking. And he's gonna go in a little bit larger frame. So there's my reference material. Now I was gonna show you, here's the dog. So I got the back legs in. I got his head up, okay, got his, the shape of his body. I put a wire in the tail, and then I'll do that technique, the fold over technique, so that the hair, you know, hangs down long. And that's with that, um, oh, I never remember, oh yes, the, the viscose top, white peach which I'll probably mix with some of my sienna, and then I have a lighter golden color as well that I'm gonna mix all three colors together to make his fur color. Now here you see I added, his ear wasn't quite long enough. And so I'm gonna show you how I put the wire in the, the legs here. So I've already kind of you know, did a rough front leg, which I'm gonna leave that in there. Now that's probably too much, see, it's too, too tilted up, so. But once I get that knitted in, that might be just the right height. So, um, you don't wanna make this too dense because then it makes it difficult to fish the wire through. So I'm gonna fish some of the wire through and cut a piece bigger than I need. Okay, and I'm just gonna run it right on up through the leg here. And hopefully this isn't too dense. Yeah, no, that's starting to go. And just work it, try to keep it straight in there. And I just wiggle it around until I get it where I can see it. So there it is. So, and I check to see, you know, if it's all the way around or, you know, covered in wool. And so I've got that. So what I do is I pull this piece and then I'm gonna make a nice little hook, pinch that down like that. And then I'm gonna pull it back into its paw so that it's hooked on there, okay? Make sure it's all in there. Try to keep your, your wire straight. And you can always bend it after the fact, but get it up in there. Make sure it's not poking out somewhere weird. All right, so that would be his leg. Now, I gotta get it into the body. Let's see. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, I got way too much, but that's okay. I'm gonna fish it on in. come out the back here. See, he's pretty squishy, so I can do a lot more condensing. I'm gonna pull it up tight. Oh, and see how you can move that around? All right, let's see if that's, that's a good stand. That seems about the right height, and that'll all get poked in. So, you want to mark here, all right, and then I want to, don't worry about bending your dog up and all, because you don't want it 
I want it to stick out the back. So, see, and I'm going to clip it off right here. There we go. And hopefully when I pull this leg back down, that'll disappear. Okay? And then I'll just knit around that. Alright, now i got to straighten out my leg and all that stuff because you know, I have to force that up in there. So, I mean, that, that that's pretty good. So, he's got a lot of fur around his chest area. And whatever I don't need, I'll just trim it away. Oop. So. Alright. Now hold your leg where you want it in position. Okay. Just work that right on up. Oh, and now this I have enough hair or enough wool to cover where I... Uh, put the wire in so that that takes care of that and that one's already cinched up this makes a nice support for the dog now he does have a shoulder so I can see that I'm not liking that I need His shoulder to come down and pull this over like that and that tapers into the leg now be careful poking because you're gonna feel that wire in there from time to time and don't break your needle I'm going to stretch that wire out a little more. Okay. Now I need some shaping on here to get it just the way I want it. Now, I don't knit it, like I was saying, real dense before I put the wire in because then it's hard to get that really flexible wire into the leg. So... Leave it kind of loose, you know, not so dense, so you can get the wire up in there. And then you can always, um, you know, uh, condense it more around the wire, which will help keep your wire where you want it as well. So, that's what I'm doing. This guy, dog's name is uh, Mookie. And... Uh, once I get the other leg on, then I'm going to do the colors. And I'm going to make a little collar for him, too. So I needle felted the dent in his, in his neck. And I'll just needle felt like a little, you know, collar, leather looking collar around there. And that'll be a nice touch. Um, also, since he is a profile, you know, the eye wouldn't sit flat on the face like this, so I have it. I, I put it in, in in this angle so that it's more elliptical, and I'll build up the structure around there. I put a little black on the bottom of his paws because they do have black pads and when it's standing on the white frame it gives it a nice little accent so here I'll just finish shaping this part here seeing how, how low the, the chest comes down on that dog look it's like to the first elbow really so that that seems pretty good Now, this I have a wire in, this I have a wire in. This one I don't, because I really don't need it. So I'm not going to put a wire on this side either. And I'll just put that in, and I've got all four of my legs together. And so then I'll put that one in too. 
But now I have to taper this up because the chest really comes forward. See how I'm just pulling that wool right on around. Now I have a tendency to work upside down a lot, but you really gotta turn it either way so that you can see if it's still a convincing dog leg or whatever shape you're working on. I think he, I think he has a pretty good stance. I'll put this other leg on, let's see here. See, I think this needs more of a paw. You know, the front paws are bigger than the back paws. So maybe I'll take a little off of there and put it on here. It's not just straight. Think about the bones underneath. It's subtle, but it makes a big difference. And when I did this black paw, I used brown and black in there. See if this is long enough now. Let's see how it looks standing up. Make sure you check your reference. See those paws are cut off. So are those. Oy! Now you can see them there a little bit. You can see them there, but they're not standing. I, I know what they look like, so they're committed to memory. You draw something enough, you can remember it. It's not like a face where you really need to have exactly. And just poke it in like that. I should have one leg behind or just do them both, you know. Do the Winchester, West Manchester dog show style. Now this, this here needs a little more beef or I'm losing the shape of it because it's black on the bottom, which I'll see in the frame. But it might need a little more toe but see the elbow there, You've got the elbow there. It's even indented there. So I'll put this other paw on. Just put it on there and then turn it this way and poke it in. This side we don't have to worry about too much because it's going on the board. Okay, and then I'll work on that shape a little more and see that can stand and it's only got two wires very good oh he blew over <laughs> 